I don't know what I think about episode 24 of Summertime Render. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> There's a side of me that's like a little bit fulfilled in the idea that it went how I was kind of expecting, but at the same time, I I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> it, I, it's one of those things where I was kind of tempted just to say, no, I'm not going to do a video on 24 because it's all going to get answered at the beginning of 25. I really want to know, but it's fun to speculate, so why not? But yeah, that's my thoughts on 24. <laughs> Um, beginning of this episode, that was fine. I, I thought it was a really cool battle. Um, had a lot of the push in the characters themselves. And we kind of revealed the fact that, yes, Ushio did reform herself from this one single hair. Thus, she's lost a lot of her power. Heine confirms that. That's why she looks younger. Similar to what happened to Hiroko. Now she's like a little small infant. But, yeah. <laughs> Ushio wants him to buy some time so that she can basically craft herself into a bullet that he can then fire into Shide. Their whole mindset there is to use Yunosuke, similar to how Hizuru did in letting him infest him, which we find out later that was a bad decision because Shinpei didn't get to see that, yes, technically, Shide knows about that tactic. They did it before. But yes, we find out that Shide's whole purpose here is that he's been trying to live forever. He wants to see the conclusion of the world itself, and so he's been living over 300 years, rebirthing himself into a new body over and over again. But now that Hiroko's power is waning, he knows that he can no longer live on. So his big desire is that he wants to end the world. He wants to put an end to everything so that he can see the conclusion of the world. So I, at least it's not a mankind bad wars destroying each other. So why not destroy everything? It's just that he desires to see the conclusion of mankind. He's been watching it for so long. He wants to see how it ends. I guess that's, it's all right. <laughs> it's, it's all right of a, again, I, something like this that's so long running, it's often very difficult to get a conclusion with a main villain character that's satisfying. Um, we've seen plenty again, like that was the reason why I was frustrated so much with the idea of it might being an aspect of humans bad want to end humans. It's hard to write a character that seems to make sense and that's, I guess the best they can do and it's fine. He's technically a gamer. He wants to see the end of the game, I guess. But yeah, they fight for a while. Again, Rinosuke tries to possess him. That fails, but Shinpei is able to get over to the shotgun. We have Ushio go inside the gun itself. And then, yes, uh, Haine uses some of her power to push it towards him, firing inside of him and erasing his 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 armor and technically his connection to Hiroko and everything. So and it kind of showed a brief shot of him in his actual form. And yeah, he was he was pretty old. Like he's lost his new self, which is really young. And then his previous self was kind of decrepit. And that's where things get into... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was a cool conclusion to everything, but at the same time, I don't know. It, we basically have... Ushio goes up and picks up Hiroko. And it seems like through their connection, Hiroko brings them to the point in which the whale washed ashore, or she washed ashore. And that was the point in which Haine ran up to touch it. And they have this moment where because of Shinpei's eye, he's able to kind of interact and scares her away. He's, she's like, it's a ghost and runs off. But that's when things get a little interesting. And the idea that Ushio realizing that this was a point that Hiroko wanted to bring her to. It's washed ashore. I can erase it now that it's here. But she says specifically, I can only erase this one, but it's still going to happen. So it mostly implies this idea that she's erasing everything that has came from this whole point. One theory I have is that she's erasing the knowledge that Hiroko will then have for any of this stuff having transpired. My main focus is more on the idea that it's her erasing the existence of that Hiroko in that timeline. But then following this, everybody starts disappearing. And then Ushio tells Shinpei she's got to go. Before she disappears, she has to fulfill one more thing. And yes, that was what the thing that we were in essentially theorizing this whole entire series was that at some point late in the timeline, Ushio would go back and give Shinpei the eye. She has to keep fulfilling that because otherwise if she doesn't, none of this happened. If she doesn't go back now before she disappears, none of this stuff happened. And thus everything they did would have been erased. So she's basically completing the cycle. Now here's my frustration that I have is that if you got rid of Hiroko here, why would you have to go back to that timeline? Why would everything still play out? All the shadows she created from that point as Haine onward would have been erased. So my frustration that I have here is that immediately after Shinpei goes to say goodbye to Ushio, she leaves, she does the recording for Hizuru, and then she appears at Shinpei's side to give him the eye. 
And then it almost implies the episode ends with Shempei waking up, yes, inside of <laughs> Hizuru's chest, which so happy to see her. But it almost implies that the story going forward is going to be from that point on. And that doesn't make any sense. My hope was that what they were doing there is having her erase Hizuru in that timeline, but then that timeline still exists. And so she has to fulfill the cycle. But that everybody else would go to this other timeline where Hizuru never made contact with Haine. And thus, Ushio never died, Rinosuke never died, nothing ever happened. Sh Shide never continued on living on forever and ever. But again, because it shows Shinpei waking up there, it implies that everything still happened. Now, technically, Ushio did say that I will erase this version of Haine, but she'll come back eventually. Like, this is a form that she created, this whale. But then she'll come back eventually. Like, he, Hiroko is not going to non-exist. So the fear there is that, yes, eventually Hiroko will come on board the island and she will mimic somebody, but they won't have Shide at her side. And that's the that's the thing that's going to break all of this, is not having Shide at her side to manipulate her. I know, it's, <laughs> it's a struggle. Again, the only thing that I can think of is that I wonder if they'll twist it in the idea that she went back in time and she gave him the eye in order to finish the cycle itself. But in actuality, there's a different reason for why they're coming to the island. That Ushio's not passed away, that Shinpei is coming there to just see Ushio. And the only reason that Hizuru's there is that Hizuru's come there because the message left on her phone was Ushio saying, hey, what's up? Come on down here and see me. We're all coming together to talk. The idea is that there's a fake out happening. Because again, technically without Renosuke dying, why would Hizuru leave the island? Unless even without Renosuke's death, she still goes and pursues her writing career. Again, it could be a fake out or it could be an aspect that we're just gonna do a full loop here and have to explain why we're still doing this without the presence of the shadows. I hope it's not an infinite loop. I don't think it's playing it out as being an infinite loop. Something has to change based on Hiroko being taken out. And again, is it the fact that they're stuck in this loop or is there gonna be a parallel loop that's going to have the lack of the shadows? And what we see at the end of this episode was that infinite loop over here where we're actually gonna open up the next episode is the world in which that's not happening. All my crazy theories aside, I really did love a couple scenes in this episode. Obviously seeing Ryosuke and Haine, that was a cute little grouping there. I don't know how they're gonna wrap that. I, we This would be like too Hollywood happy ending to, to Disney, but there is a side of me that almost wants to have like this girl that sort of looks like Haine, like a descendant of Haine, who's friends with Ryosuke. Like we see Renosuke and he's like hanging out with some girl and she looks, she has that hair similar to her and yes, has her same voice. Would be great. It needs to happen. But no, obviously the separation between Ushio and Shinpei, him saying, you know, let me come with you. And she's like, no, don't say things like that. That's going to make me second guess what I'm going to do. And that was really her saying, no, I, it was almost like she was contemplating not completing the cycle because it's, it's a really sad thing, and this is one of the reasons why I didn't want the infinite loop, is because at this point, what she's doing is she's going back to the beginning again, and she's giving him the eye again, and then she's going to suffer that whole situation again. It's an infinite loop, and Ushio, Shadow Ushio is technically the one that's stuck in it. She has, she has to cycle it over and over again. She's the one being cursed throughout this entire thing, and so which again makes me believe that they're going to have this be a break. It's just, I think what's happening again is a fake out. I really feel like if it's not a fake out and that again, Shinpei and Hizuru's coming there for a different reason than Ushio's funeral, I'm gonna be a little mad <laughs> because it's again, the internal suffrage of Ushio. I'm getting back into that. I'm getting away from the theory stuff, but no, that was fantastic. They played the music in with it. It was really heartbreaking. Anyways, that's my thoughts on 24. We'll see him at 25. <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you did make sure to that like button down below comment Let me know what's thought of this episode or if I got it completely wrong. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people saying that I got completely wrong <laughs> Yeah, anyways, if you have not already make sure that subscribe button so you get all my content I do news reviews first impressions if it's animates pretty much here Additionally, if you want to support the channel more we have a patreon link a tips link and a super thanks button down below I greatly appreciate everybody that considers and you'll take care